Hello, everybody. I'm back. Yeah, I know. Happens now again. Sometimes it's really irregular. Oh, well. There you go. Just finished up another class. This one was on multimedia journalism. It was really interesting. Especially when they told us to take the Frost Nixon interview and kind of rework some blurb and add image for it to relate to today, you know, do something that's like either for Facebook or Twitter or something like that. That was fun. Now, when I was in high school, the end of my freshman year through the beginning of my sophomore year was the year of Watergate. And then this interview was well after Nixon's resignation, this was in 77, which was the year after I graduated high school. So I got to see some of this stuff in the current day at that time. It was really different having that kind of political exposure for things going on that are kind of relatable for today. People got caught with their hand in the cookie jar and they got smacked. It was a really interesting class. Now the instructor is a journalist. So yeah, we had lots of interesting discussions on things like journalistic ethics and, and you know, finding sources that were legitimate and telling the truth, not just something you made up, which seems to be a problem we're having currently with some of the journalists just like making it up as they go along. I mean, not so long ago, we had a journalist who made up the story of a child. And this story actually got a Pulitzer Prize. And it was a complete and utter fabrication. Same problem I'm having with the people that are claiming to be a person of color when they're not. And then after they've done all of this work under that particular concept of that's who they are, then they're having to come out and go, oh yeah, by the way, yeah, not so much. What are these people thinking? End of current events rant for the time being. I loved that class, though. Came out of, out of it with an A minus. I decided that was pretty good, so I'm just like cruising along here. Um, come November 1st, I will be entering the NaNoWriMo National Novel Writing month. NaNoWriMo. I have won it two years. I have blown it several more than that. But I like the challenge. The challenge is 50,000 words written in 30 days. 
Now, they've broken it up some so that people who really just do not have a flexible enough schedule for things like having to go to family and all this other stuff for Thanksgiving or whatever can start like October if they want, but they still only have 30 days to hit that mark. 06 and 07, I made it. But in 06 and 07, it was just me and the old man in one place. Made it a lot easier. I wasn't in school at that point. I didn't have grandkids running around the house. All of that. But since I'm coming down to finish work on the first book that I am determined to publish and I've already got the second book churning a bit I'm going to do the second book initial writing as part of NaNoWriMo so we will see how that goes considering the class that starts Monday is more communications work, and it's on PR. Could be handy. Now, for those of you who are having interestingly warm weather at this point, it snowed here last night. It snowed. It didn't last. It didn't even make it to daybreak. But it snowed. And we've got quite a bit of new snow coverage at the top elevations on the mountains around us. There it stayed. Let's see, what else are we doing? Oh, yeah. This is the first look from this big thing. This is the Celebration palette from Profusion that I picked up last year. Just about Christmas time. And I barely used it. Now granted, this is a lot of colors. But I like them. Now, this box, which, you know, looked really good on the, the Christmas gift shelf. This whole thing was originally 15 bucks, and when I picked it up, it was just after Christmas. On sale. <laughs> so I paid $7.50 for this. But this box is, like, seriously bulky. And yeah, it's really pretty with all of the glitter floating in here, but it's hard to store. So I am probably going to depot this whole collection into a magnetic palette. There you go. What you think? The Celebration palette is going to be my new Three Looks, One palette. Oh, yeah. And the heavy metal has arrived. I don't know why. I just had to. Heavy metal. No, these are not hollow. No, these are not small. Yes, they've got some weight to them. Because I felt like it. It has been absolutely wonderful to get to an age where if somebody tells you 
you shouldn't be doing that kind of stuff because you're just too old. You can tell them to step off because you've earned the ability to do anything you want. If you want to wear strange clothes, go for it. You want to wear loud makeup, go for it. Just learn to put it on right. You know, you don't want them big black eyebrows that are like looking like black Sharpie and the 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 blue shadow that's just smeared right here, you know. And it's like you got your eyebrows up here, so you look like you're constantly startled. Learn to put it on right. It can be done. Is this perfect? No. Does it look appropriate? I think so. Is it colors other than what some people think mature women should wear? Oh, yeah, you betcha. Bring them on. Let them come tell me. Let them try and take my earrings away. Let them try and tell me I shouldn't have my hair so short. Come on. Come on. Sometimes being a woman of a certain age, I love that phrase, I dearly appreciate the fact that I have earned it. I don't have to do any of this for anybody but me. I don't have to worry about necessarily, you know, fitting an office of rest. And there go my dogs. Somebody must have come in the house. Heaven only knows. Sometimes they just bark at the air. I don't have to worry about dress codes or anything like that. Now, if the books I'm writing go well, what would you rather see on the artist profile, on the author profile? Hmm? An older woman that looks like she's got her caca together. Or somebody that looks like she just don't care much anymore. I'm going to look glam shabam in the, in the author profiles. Hopefully, somebody will actually read the books. And yes, they're coming out electronic first. We will see what happens from there. Well, this is kind of just a update thing. Let you know what I'm doing with the Three Looks One palette. And which palette? And letting you know where class is and where I might disappear to come November. It happens. I get started writing and I can lose time. No, I didn't put the falsies on today. I didn't feel like it. Because I'm going to turn around, put my glasses on, and go back to writing. Tell me what you think. Go vote. There's still time. <clears throat> go and do this. If you can vote early, do it. If you vote by mail in a state like Oregon, where they've been voting by mail for a long time. 
and it has worked beautifully since we've been here. And you know where your drop boxes are. Go to your drop box. If you're close enough to your courthouse, go to the courthouse and drop it off with the clerk. Just go do it. Wear your mask. Wash your hands. Maintain your distance. And please, stay out of trouble. I have to fix the car. There is no bail money. Be good.